China fears an India-Australia alliance. And the reason is our navies in the Indo-Pacific region. The world wants to change. It wants to get rid of Chinese hedge money. And the alliance that seems all set to punish the dragon is the Indo-Australia alliance. At a plain geostrategic level, they can jeopardize Chinese trade routes like never before. Earlier this month, Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a virtual summit during which the two countries finalized the Mutual Logistics Support Agreement. This allows the navies of the two countries to access each other's ports for logistics such as food, water and petroleum. This should get China worried at a time when Beijing is engaged in a tense military standoff with India in eastern Ladakh. As per reports, Chinese buildup has again started in the Galwan Valley patrolling point 14. This is the same spot where bloodshed happened on June 15, leading to 20 casualties on India's side and far more casualties on China's side if we consider what the American and Indian intelligence agencies have to say. Meanwhile, China is also engaged in a severe trade war with Australia. Beijing has imposed tariffs on imports of meat and barley from Australia. Australia-China ties have soured further as Beijing is facing allegations of launching a massive cyber attack on Canberra. This is the reason why relations between India and Australia keep getting stronger as their ties with China get embittered. New Delhi and Canberra can weaponize their strategic importance in the Indo-Pacific to hamper China's trade routes and oil imports. To make it amply clear, India's Andaman and Nicobar Islands are situated on the northwestern approaches of the Strait of Malacca. This is a strategic choke point on the Indian Ocean that connects the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It is a narrow stretch of water between the Indonesian island of Sumatra and the Malay Peninsula. China's exports to the Middle East, Africa and Europe pass through this strategic choke point. If and when India blocks this strategic choke point, Chinese exports through the Indian Ocean could run into trouble. More importantly, the country that blocks the Strait of Malacca can hamper the Chinese economy by blocking its oil imports. Beijing is dependent on oil imports for economic growth and in fact it is the biggest oil importer in the world. The Strait of Malacca happens to be the second biggest oil choke point in the world next only to the Strait of Hormuz. 80% of China's oil imports pass through the South China Sea via the Strait of Malacca. But now. Here's the catch. India's territorial waters are limited to the northwestern approaches of the Malacca Strait, while much of the vast southeastern approaches to the Malacca Strait remain a blind spot for India. Consequently, the Indonesian Straits, the Sunda, the Lombok and the Ombai Vitar also lie outside India's traditional sphere of influence in the Indian Ocean region. In case of a conflict, if India tries to disrupt China's access to energy resources, Beijing can potentially bypass India's area of influence through the other Indonesian straits. But this is where Australia and the mutual logistics pact between New Delhi and Canberra become crucial. If China tries to bypass India's area of influence around the Strait of Malacca and import oil through other Indonesian straits, India's friend Australia can block China's access. The Cocos Islands in the Australian External Territory lie close to the Indonesian Straits and this would mean that oil imports to China stand fully exposed to Australian action. This explains the growing ties between India and Australia. Both countries perceive China as a threat. For India, China's hegemony translates into aggression in the Himalayas. On the other hand, Australia detests Chinese bullying in the South China Sea. India and Australia have underscored that they have a shared vision which ensures freedom of navigation. This is crucial for Canberra as it wants to protect the freedom of navigation in the South China Sea as a trade route. At a purely geostrategic level, Indo-Australian cooperation is thus the biggest disaster in the making for China. The Indian and Australian navies are at a huge advantage and this should deter China from continuing with its mindless aggression.